All right, today we're going to deal with areas of circles and the ever possibly tricky sector. All right, most of us know, most of us should know what our area equation is, but if you do not remember, area is equal to pi r squared. In reality, we know a circle is not squared, it is a round. Yeah, I know, I did the, I did, I did the corny joke. Okay, so pi r squared is what that is. Let's take a look at using that in that equation to solve some questions. All right, so for our directions, it says solve for the indicated measure. So we're just solving for the area of circle M. So here my radius is, uh-oh, how many of you would just want to try and plug in 5? Wrong! Your radius is actually 2.5 for that one. So I'm going to have pi times 2.5 squared is what I need to put in my calculator. So 2.5 squared is 6.25. So I have 6.25 pi is one answer, and this is centimeters squared. Or you're actually just going to times that number by pi and come up with 19.64 centimeters squared. Make sure you get in the habit of writing both down. I will specifically tell you which one I want. If I say leave it in terms of pi, you give me this answer, 6.25 pi. If I say round to the nearest hundredth, plug everything in your calculator. All right, let's take a look at number two. The diameter of a circle with an area of 10 square feet. So I already know my area is 10 feet squared. This equals pi r squared. So I have to divide both sides by pi. Right, because we've got to get r squared by itself. So r squared is going to equal, well, what is 10 divided by pi? Well, that comes out to be 3.18. Again, leave everything in your calculator. Then we have to take the square root of that. So when we take the square root of that, we end up with a radius that is 1.78. Again, I'm not solving for my radius. I'm solving for the diameter, so I have to times that number by two, so hit times two in the calculator, we end up with a diameter that is 3.57. Again, I left everything in the calculator, so that's why my answer might be a little different than yours, and we are dealing in feet. All right, go ahead and pause the video and give number one and two a try. Number one, my radius is in fact seven, so I'm going to have pi times seven, squared, so I have 49 pi meters squared, and if I ask you to times that to or round it to the nearest hundredth, you would have 153.94 meters squared for that one. All right, now this one, I tell you the, air, the area is 65 centimeters squared. It's going to do 65 centimeters squared is equal to pi r squared, so we're going to divide, again, both sides by pi. So here, if we take 65 and divide it by pi, we have 20.69 is equal to r squared. Take the square root of that, so we'll plug that in our calculator, and we end up with a radius that is 4.69. Five, five centimeters. Now I'm stopping there because I'm asking for the radius, not the diameter. All right, let's take a little bit further down. All right, so the next part is the sector of the circle. This is very similar to our arc length, you guys, where we're not dealing with the entire circle. We're just dealing with part of it. So a sector is just going to be the region bounded by two radii of a circle and its intercepted arc. What in the world are you talking about, Mr. C? Okay, so let's take a circle, again, beautifully drawn. So if I have the center of the circle right here, and I have two radii that I draw, so there's my two radius, okay, two radii. We're talking about, so it's bounded by that. So we're talking about all of this shaded part right here. Okay, guys, basically, if you really want to simplify this, the sector of a circle is how much pizza are you getting? Okay, how many square inches of pizza are you getting? All right, so you cut your pizza, you take one slice away, how much did you get? 
That's what the sector of a circle is, is how much pizza are you getting? I like pizza. I want, I want pizza for dinner now. All right. The area of a sector. Okay. So how much pizza is we getting or how much pie? Ooh, what's your favorite kind of pie? It's a hard question. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the ratio of the area of a sector of a circle to the area of the whole circle, pi r squared, is equal to the ratio of the measure of the intercepted arc to, yep, you guessed it, 360 degrees. What in the world are we even talking about here? Okay, so this in this drawing, the sector is the shaded region, so that's all this. That is called sector A, P, B. Okay, so we always start at one point of our arc, we go to the middle, and then we go to our other point. So this P is just telling, like, hey, we're talking about this whole area right there. Okay, so we have the air. So here's the ratio. It's the area of sector A, B, A, P, B. So sector A, P, B, whoops, P, divided by the entire area, which is just pi r squared, equals the measure of my arc measure, which we don't know, over 360. Okay, that's just, to me, to me that's a little bit not too bad to diff memorize, but this might be a little easier. The sector of your arc, or this, the sector APB you're solving for is equal to x over 360, and then you times that by pi r squared. Sorry, I'm writing up at an uphill slant. Okay, so it's very similar to our arc length, which was just your arc measure, AB is equal to x over 360 times 2 pi r. So really, guys, the only thing that's changed from our equation is instead of multiplying by 2 pi r, now we're timesing it by pi r squared. All right, let's take a look at what we have down below. All right, so just two examples. I might have you, I might start one and have you guys finish it. All right, but so the area of the sector formed by angle PQR. So we're talking about this sector right here, the shaded area. So my sector, it, sector we're talking about PQR is equal to, well, what's my arc measure? Well, my central angle is 140, so my arc measure is also 140 over 360. And then we're going to do pi times my radius, which is 4 squared. So I hope everybody agree this is going to be 16 pi. And then we're going to do 140 over 360 in our calculators. So we got 140 divided by 360 in our calculator, which gets us to approximately 0.39. So again, I'm leaving this all on the calculator. The calculator actually reads right now, guys, 0.388889. So 0.38, and then the 8 is repeating. And then we're going to times that by 16 pi in my calculator. So my area of just the sector is 19.55. And we are dealing with centimeters squared. Okay. So here... This is, we're going to find the area of y. We're actually going to find the radius of y. Okay, so change that. All right, so this one we're going to have to work backwards on. So we're going to use that same equation. We're just going to plug the information. So we have 4.1 is equal to 25 over 360 times pi r squared. Well, let's change the 25... So here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to times both sides by 360. That way I'm rid of my fraction. So what is 4.1 times 360 in our calculator? We get 1,476 is equal to 25 pi r squared. Divide both sides by 25 pi. Right, because we've got to get r squared by itself, so divide both sides by 25 pi. So take 1476 and divide it by 25 pi. 
you might need to put parentheses around your 25 pi. So once we divide by 25 pi, we're left with 18.793 equals r squared. So then we'll take the square root of that. So square root of that mumbo jumbo gets us to a radius of 4.34 4, and it's in feet. So we have feet. All right, so we're just working backwards through that one, guys. That's the only thing that makes that one a little bit more difficult. All right, let's take a look at the last question down below. All right, so the last one, is we're going to find out how what's the population density in people per square mile. Well, right there, it tells you, if you've never even heard of population density, it tells you what you're doing. You're talking about the number of people per square mile. All right, so really what you're talking about is people per mile squared. All right, well, we have about, what, 70,000 people. And we're going to divide that by pi, and my radius is 30 squared. So if we plug 30 squared into our calculator, we end up with 900. So we have 900, so this is just 70,000 over 900 pi. So we'll do 900 pi in my calculator, which gets us to 28, 200, excuse me, which gets us 2,000. So we still have 70,000 on top. Divided by 2,837.43. So we're just going to divide 70,000 by that. And that will tell us. So per square mile, there is approximately 224.8 people per square mile. Okay, is what we're talking about there. All right, there you go.